as it's solid, it's blinking, that means it has a connection. And when I fire, that top one is gonna be red. All right, you ready? Yep. Now I'm barely moving my hand. I'm kind of just letting it push me. So that wire feeder is pushing you back a little mm -hmm. bit. What I'm focused on is maintaining this angle. And then you want to stop, you just let go. And then what you like to do is just pull it out and then clip it. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go back later and fuse that right there. Mm -hmm. Now you could do where you're welding, 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 and then just kind of pull off. Uh -huh. And then it'll stop itself. But the problem with that is if I do that, like like that, it's still going like right here because it doesn't know yet. Yeah. And then I can damage other things, I can damage somebody else. So to be safe, we just Leave it stop there. it, mm -hmm. pull, you know, just let it push us out and just trim it and then we'll come back to it later. Nice, and okay. That's the final step in everything is just fusing everything. Look at it, it's, it's even on both sides. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of right down the yeah. middle. And mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for. We want to make sure that there's even fusion on both sides. Very cool. And you can see it on the Oh back. yeah, wow. I went a little slow right there, so you can see that the heat built up. Right. And then I kind of let it just, just, and then there was another snag. That's, that's the cool thing about it. You, you can see right. why, you know, what happened. Yeah. In the weld. From the backside. That's yeah. pretty interesting. If this was TIG, it'd, it'd be a lot bigger. Thicker. It'd be a lot bigger and it wouldn't be easy, as easy to read. 